And it's not just to, to kind of go through the motions. We don't want to have a check in the box for the day on the workout. We're not going to get the most out of our workouts that way. So today, we're going to review the levels of intensity and what we should do when we see, how we should respond when we see the workouts on the board. Right? So in the Marine Corps, we have a, a color system that I like to apply to this. And it's white, yellow, orange, red, and black. And this is to describe your awareness. And here, we're going to use it to describe how hard you're pushing on a scale of 0 to 10 during your workouts. Right? So zero is sleep. You're unaware, somebody could come and choke and kill you in your sleep. You know that nothing is going on, you have zero awareness. Right? Don't worry about that when you're in the gym. Hopefully you're not sleeping stuff. <laughs> then we have yellow. Right? This is one through four. This is your normal daily activity. Right? So even if you, you're in manual labor, your body is adapted to that. Right? You're, you're at your resting heart rate and there's no challenge and therefore we're getting no adaptation when we're in this place, right? Yellow, we're just kind of doing our thing, going through the motions. Then we have orange, right? And this is our five to seven range. This is where we're gonna be spending most of our time during our workouts in the gym. So we wanna get into orange during the warm up. We wanna stay in orange during longer duration workouts that are greater than six minutes. And we want to feel like we're challenging ourselves, but it's certainly doable. We don't have to take too many breaks during the workout. Um, maybe gather our breath one or two times, and we should uh, have the, the most efficient technique here, right? It's also the most adaptable with the least amount of rest. The majority of our workouts are here, right? So when we're not testing, or even when we're learning, right? So if we're learning a new skill, right? If we're trying to get better at something, even if our heart rate isn't jacked because of how we're taxing the central nervous system by learning a new skill, we're still gonna be in orange. We're still much more aware, right? Red is when we're alert, right? So we like to refer to things as, or heart, or you know, stuff like that, and you hear like a race car engine, right? So eight to nine, this is our red line. All of our strength components, as soon as you get to your working weight, we should be challenging ourselves that even during the first set, right, that last rep is a little challenging, right? Uh, sh our shorter duration workouts should be, we should touch into this red a little bit. So anything less than six minutes, right? This is where we're pushing it, but it can't be sustained, right? If you've ever uh, seen videos of Marines or soldiers after firefights, they're like, stumbling around and can barely keep awareness of themselves until they down-regulate and they can start to be aware again. Uh, this is when we're testing or we're in application, right? So when you see a named workout on the board like Helen we did last Friday, if you see uh, other ones that we do are Jackie, um, these named benchmark workouts, that's your time to really test and apply. Because when I program that in, the interest is I'm ready for you to challenge the scores that you've gotten before and to see how much better you progress, right? So benchmark workouts. Also during our max lifts. So once every three months, we're gonna come in, we're gonna max our front squat, we're gonna max our back squat, and we're gonna max one of our weightlifting uh, disciplines during a month, right? So obviously that's gonna be in the red, but this requires more rest for our adaptation, right? It's really gonna put us down a little bit. Then we have condition black. This is when you're crying naked in the fetal position and even though your eyes are open, you can't see, right? This, it leads to injury, crying, and takes the longest recovery, right? So here we're gonna see technique failure because we've had CNS crash, right? Our central nervous system is completely shut down and we no longer have any efficiency to anything that we do. So when we come in, the majority of the time, we want to be in this orange zone, right? We want to hit that during the warm-up, and that's where we want to be for the workout, right? When you come in and you see super short duration workouts, or it's a named workout, or during your strength components, right? This is where we want to be in the red, where we're really challenging ourselves. But remember, this can't be sustained, and that's why we don't spend the majority of our time there. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Do we have any questions? Did we learn something today? Yep. Yeah. All right, good.